Overhead power lines run through the countries for thousands of kilometers. These are the objects that are with a high potential risk of damage by lightning during a thunderstorm, risking breakdowns, often in hard to reach remote locations. That is why, of course, the lines should always be protected against such attacks of the disaster. But in which manner? In general, in the same manner as other constructions, by the means of a lightning rod. However, the, for power lines it is somewhat different from what we see, for example, on residential buildings. Here it is an overhead protection cable or a protective earth wire. A special cable runs over hot wires throughout the line, or at least near substations. It depends on the voltage of lines and the material of the supports. For example, the lines of less than 20 kV are not equipped with these cables, and the main lines of 110 kV protected throughout their length regardless of the construction of their supports. It goes without saying that the cable is grounded, and this is done for each support. It can be grounded solidly and can be suspended through insulators. Then the current at the discharge passes through a spark gap. The cable itself has quite a usual design. As a rule, this is the interlacement of wires of either steel and aluminium alloy, a galvanized wire with a sufficiently large cross-section of 50-70 square millimeters. It depends again on the voltage of the line. The degree of protection of the current product conducting wire depends on the angle of protection. This is the angle between the vertical passing through the cable and the line connecting the cable wire with the outer main. If this angle is less than 20 degrees, the damage of the current conducting wire by lighting is almost impossible. Of course, it is costly to run such a thick and expensive conductor all over the route. However, the frequent repair works of wires caused by direct lighting strikes as well as the losses incurred as a result of the damage causes a very lie. And now an overhead protection cable is used for the purposes unrelated to the protection of lines. For example, for communication, if there are two insulated lights and conductors, then this line can be used to transmit high-frequency signals, recently released cables with inbuilt fiber optic communication channels. The English abbreviation is OPGW, which allowed to combine the solution of the main objective of the line protection and simplify fiber lane for long distances.